Welcome to Data Center Pulse. I'm really excited today because we're releasing another public modular RFP. And this is going to be even bigger than the last one we did. And we want you to be aware and also to have you start to prepare to compete in this greenfield, extremely innovative project. So one year ago, we released the eBay modular RFP. And what came out of that process was Project Mercury. And Project Mercury is a data center that we're building in Phoenix, Arizona. And we are right in the middle of commissioning that data center today. We've landed thousands and thousands of servers in containers on the roof in the middle of a desert. We've also landed thousands of servers into the ground floor. It's all modular, it's all efficient, it's all extremely flexible. You can watch for more information about Project Mercury towards the end of the year, but that's not the point of this video. We're taking the modular concepts to the next level. We're taking it full scale. This project is going to be the second phase of our data center in Salt Lake City. We're taking all the concepts we have, hot water cooling, multi-tier, free cooling, modularity, all those pieces and applying it to this project as well. So we're also going to be taking the public RFP process to the next level. We're going to take the lessons learned from last year and apply them to this. Because we still want you to tell us how to design the data center. We're going to basically define the problem and all the requirements we have, and we're going to have you come back with the best way for us to have the most efficient, scalable, flexible data center we possibly can. We're also going to try and be very crisp on what type of project this is. Design build, design bid build. We're still deciding that, but you will know how to appropriately respond to the RFP, and that'll be more accurate. We're also going to be selecting five finalists this year instead of six. And those five finalists we're going to be compensating because they all spent a lot of time on coming up with a design, time, money, et cetera, to be really, really, really thorough in their responses back to us. So we want to make sure that people are compensated for their time because ultimately we have to pick one winner. So another great thing in this is we're going to allow the five finalists to present to the Data Center Pulse community. We did it last year and it worked really well. We're going to try and expand that out so more people can watch. But that allows you to go back and show your innovation to my peers, the people that run data centers, huge data centers down to small data centers all over the world. So it's a win-win for everybody involved. So the process starts August 19th, 2011. There's an alias that you can send questions to, and also that is going to be the process for you to qualify. There's also a URL that you can follow the project with. So I want you to get your best and your brightest together. I want you to start thinking about what's the most innovative way to solve the challenges that we start to put out and get ready to fight, because the competition's about to begin. Thank you for watching Data Center Pulse, and stay tuned for additional episodes.